Good day, SUNY Brockport. Welcome to the news you can trust at News for Brockport. The number of positive cases of COVID-19 continues to rise in western New York. Monroe County Health Department officials reported 347 new cases last week, averaging a weekly estimate of 418 cases. Monroe County Executive Adam Bello, along with Erie County Executive Mark Polencars, met with other Rochester and Buffalo officials to discuss this issue. Bello states, we're coming together to raise awareness of our rapidly rising COVID-19 infection rates. What's more concerning is the corresponding spike in hospitalizations. We both recognize this is a regional problem and a regional call to action. The group attributes the cause of increasing cases to be a frequent dismissal of COVID-19 sanitation and distancing guidelines with gathering with parties or other activities. The executives are not, however, in favor of mandating these guidelines. As Polencart says, none of us are interested in implementing mandates like we saw in the past, so we're asking our public to act appropriately. It will help our health care heroes. We need to protect them. Bellow suggests all citizens of the Finger Lakes area get vaccinated, reminding that being fully vaccinated for six months makes you eligible for a booster shot. He also encourages parents to vaccinate their children five years and older with Pfizer's CDC-approved dose. Thank you for watching the Weekly News Minute. I'm Paul Schmidt with News for Brockport. The Brockport football team concluded their regular season against Alfred University. Brockport opened up the scoring by putting together an eight-play 70-yard drive. The offense was stagnant for the rest of the half and went back to the locker room leading 10-0. The Golden Eagles came out strong in the second half and scored 28 unanswered points in the third quarter to go up 38-0. Brockport's defense played an amazing game and they did not give up a single point. Brockport ends the regular season with a record of 7-3. The Golden Eagles will play in the ECAC D3 Clayton Chapman Bowl against Washington and Jefferson College. The game will be held here at Bob Boozer Field at 1 o'clock. The Brockport hockey team looked to remain perfect against Suniac rival Plattsburgh. The Golden Eagles opened up the scoring with a power play goal just three minutes into the game. The Cardinals were able to tie it up before the first period ended. Brockport became unstoppable in the second period by scoring four goals and jumping out to a convincing lead. They finished the job and cruised to a 73 victory. This was a historic win as the men's hockey team tied the program record of five wins to start a season. This was a record set back in 1980. Brockport will be back on the ice November 19th to host the Oswego State Lakers. The Brockport women's basketball team improves to 3-0 as they travel to U of R to take on the Yellow Jackets. This was a heavily anticipated game because both teams were undefeated. Both teams battled and were neck-to-neck -neck the entire game. Junior Anna Felice led the way with a career-high 24 points. Brockport came out on top 69-65 to continue its unbeaten season. The Golden Eagles look to continue their hot streak and travel to Geneva, New York to face William Smith College. The Brockport men's basketball team traveled to Geneva, New York to take on Hobart Statesman. The game was back and forth throughout the first half and went into halftime tied at 30. The Golden Eagles began the second half strong and jumped out to a lead in which they never looked back. Brockport doubled the amount of second half points, 47 to 23, and won 77 to 53. The Eagles improved to 2-1 and, and face off against Brooklyn College on November 23rd at 5 o'clock. I'm David Ruiz with your Weekly Sports Minute. Thank you for watching Talent TV. Don't forget to press the like button down below. And don't forget to press the subscribe button to see more videos. Thank you.